Hey everyone. Welcome back to Movie Recap. My name is Silvera. Today I'm gonna show you a 2017 Australian French psychological thriller horror film called Berlin Syndrome. The film opens with Claire arriving in Berlin, Germany, as a young female tourist. She walks to her accommodation, a hostel with group bunking rooms, and spends the evening partying with some people, possibly also tourists, on the rooftop. She takes photos of the sunrise and in the morning dresses and takes her backpack with her out sightseeing. She purchases some clothes, photo slides and takes photos in the street, one of a woman airing a colorful sheet out an apartment window. She visits a bookshop and takes interest in a book of artworks. Leaving the shop, she follows out a man, and they meet on the footpath waiting at a set of traffic lights. He drops his belongings and Claire assists him, after which a conversation sparks, where he casually asks why she's traveling alone and offers her some strawberries. Claire goes with this man, Andy, to see the public garden where the strawberries grow. They talk and get to know each other, Andy mentioning it's a good place to complicate life, Claire corrects him contemplate life. Claire ignores a call from her mother. He drives her back to her accommodation where they nearly kiss. She invites him up for a drink at the bar and he declines. The following day Claire ventures out sightseeing again and looking for Andy who she finds in the same bookshop, looking at the book of artworks. They spend the day together. He drives them back to his place which is very quiet and desolate. His upstairs apartment is tucked away behind a locked building foyer, through a small enclosed courtyard into the building block behind. They spend the night, and she talks about how much she'd like to stay, rather than move on to her next destination Dusseldorf. In the morning he leaves for work, teaching at a local school. One student, Franca, details a book the class was asked to read. Claire gets dressed, packs up a day pack, and goes to leave discovering she is locked into the apartment. She cannot find a spare key, and also finds the windows don't open. Believing this an accident she hangs in the apartment, making herself some food and waits for Andy to return. He arrives home where Claire explains she couldn't leave, and he realizes he forgot to leave a key for her which he finds in his pocket. She jokingly suggests, did you lock me in, and he playfully replies yes sure, but next time I'll tie you to the bed, and they have meat injection game in the shower. They go out clubbing, and she stays a second night. In the morning when he leaves for work he points out the key he's left for her on the dresser. She casually pokes around the apartment while cooking herself breakfast and finds the book of artworks from the bookshop. She opens it to her favorite page and finds a photo of her asleep with the word, mine, written on her shoulder, resting in the pages. Bothered by this, she also realizes her necklace with her ring is missing, her mother had given her the ring to hawk and return home if she gets into trouble, but it also has sentimental value. She searches the apartment and begins to panic, discovering the key won't open the door, her mobile phone has no service, the other internal door is also locked, and none of the available windows open. Feeling in danger now she tries to break the window with a chair and finds a second, reinforced panel behind. When Andy returns, she's waiting at the door and asks to leave, but he won't let her past. He locks the door and confronts her about the broken window, telling her casually, if she tries to break the window he will have to border them up. Now understanding the weight of the situation she pleads for him to let her go, but he dismisses her concerns and hands her flowers and asks if she likes pasta. Frustrated at his insanity she bursts violently into a rage trying to kick and punch him, but he subdues her and ties her to the bed explaining that no one can hear her screams, the buildings are abandoned. The camera pans out to reveal her screams are not heard from the street. The following day, Andy visits his father who asks why he was late. Andy says he met someone and tells him about Claire. His father asks about Natalie, the girl he has been seeing, and Andy tells him she returned to Canada. Andy returns to the apartment where he has continued to tie Claire to the bed on a plastic sheet. She is untied for a shower as she has urinated on herself and finds clumps of long blonde hair in the drain, realizing there has been someone here before her. He brings her home a puzzle and enthusiastically tells her he told his father about her and has texted her mum that she is okay. Claire threatens that her mum will realize the truth. He continued to ignore her. The next day Andy leaves for work, leaving Claire untied and free to roam the apartment as she cannot escape. We see him lock the keys in a locked box and leave it on a shelf in the building corridor. Claire searches the apartment, finding a screwdriver under the couch. 
At work, Andy is annoyed at a teacher who uses his cup from the communal kitchen, uncomfortable the woman empties it and washes it out. He returns home to find Claire doing the puzzle, he helps her, and she takes the opportunity to stab the screwdriver through his hand resting on the tabletop, pinning him to the table. She grabs the keys and escapes down the stairwell and across the courtyard, but a clunky door jams and Andy catches her and crushes her hand in the door as she escapes through the front building, breaking her finger. He carries a passed out Claire back to the apartment. The following day he meets his father. When he returns home, Claire tries to return calmness to the hostile situation. She continues to plead to him and tells him she misses her mum, but Andy tells her there's no point missing something you won't get back and that she has him instead. Andy constantly takes photos of Claire in odd and disturbed poses, usually naked. The next day, Andy watches the female student, Franca, in gym class, aroused. Meanwhile, Claire attempts to pick the door locks with a paperclip, snapping one off in the internal door and worries Andy will discover her attempt. We see that Andy has locked all the sharp tools in the lock box with the key. He continues to taunt and intimidate Claire both mentally and emotionally, moving between affection, possessiveness and cruelty. Andy is washing Claire in the shower when Frank knocks at the door. Andy threatens Claire that if she says anything, he will kill the girl. Andy answers the door and Franca flirts with him, stating she followed him home. Seeing Claire standing in a towel in the hallway, Andy tells her she's his girlfriend and is cruel to her so she leaves. Back inside the apartment Claire inquires about the girl, asking her name, and Andy cuts her hair, again photographing her. Later he discovers the internal door won't open and gets cross with Claire. We see time pass, it's now Christmas. Claire is living in terror, but as Andy continues to toy with her, she begins to unravel and act out, Andy at one point asking her to be normal and gets violent in his frustration at her behavior, leaving to stay with his father. The power in the apartment goes out and Claire is stuck for days without power, it's freezing cold, and she eats the little food she finds. Andy's father dies and upset, he waits a few days to call the caretaker, remaining in his father's house. Claire finds another girl's toenail trimming under the bed. Claire is relieved when Andy returns to the apartment a few days later. Andy was unaware of the power outage and tells him she thought he wasn't coming back. She comforts him about his father's passing, and they continue to have another meat injection game. Claire begins warming to the situation, cleaning, cooking, making an effort with her appearance, playing music. Andy gives her a book and his father's dog for Christmas. Claire asks the details of why he chose her, and he explains he saw her in the street looking at the woman airing the sheet out the window, unveiling that he had planned their meeting in the bookshop. Claire asks about the previous girl, and we see a sudden shift in his affection for Claire, annoyed at her questions. Sometime later, he takes her from the apartment into an isolated forest. He's carrying an axe. While Claire appreciates being outside, finally he lifts his axe behind her. But a young boy shouts and runs over, interrupting, asking to help his brother who has hurt his leg. Surprised at their presence, Andy is distracted, and Claire seizes an opportunity to try to alert the other boy, but he doesn't understand English and is frightened by her urgency. Andy notices and is angry at Claire. When the mother collects her children, Andy leads Claire back to the car and forces her into the boot, returning to the apartment. Andy now annoyed at Claire's presence and jealous of her relationship with the dog, takes the dog for a walk and doesn't return with it, stating it ran away. Claire is alone again and heartbroken. While Andy attends a New Year's Eve party, Claire breaks into the locked room, finding his camera, a massage chair, and a photo album of Claire in captivity. Claire also finds an album of another girl, blonde, bound and abused in the same way. Andy attempts to lure another young female to wrist, sparking conversation and using the same miswording he used with Claire, confusing contemplate life with compensate life, but the girl leaves with her friend. Back in the kitchen, Claire notices a torchlight shining from another apartment across the courtyard and alerts the person to her distress, screaming and smashing the repaired window pane. A man reaches the apartment door nearly freeing Claire, but Andy returns and kills him with a hammer. Andy taunts Claire that it is her fault the man is dead and forces her to help wrap up the body which he burns in the coal pit and courtyard outside. The following day Andy cleans the blood and boards up the windows, punishing Claire. 
He notices a missing person's ad in the local paper, with Claire's picture and flustered asks Claire to pack her bags because he is fumigating the apartment. Claire notices student workbooks on the table that Andy is grading. She purposefully burns her hand, and while Andy grabs some cream from the bathroom, she stashes away Franca's workbook. The following morning, Andy tips out all the drinks and takes his and Claire's bags, leaving Claire behind in the apartment. Downstairs he stashes Claire's bag in the basement and turns off the pipes, leaving Claire without water. At school, he hands out the workbooks and Franca finds a photo of Claire bound and gagged slip between the pages. Without drawing attention to her discovery, Franca excuses herself from the classroom and flees promptly on her bike. The photo is found on the floor by the other students and panicked, Andy rushes back to the apartment, getting stuck in traffic. Andy finds Franca's bike outside the front building and sees where she has broken in through a basement window. He finds the hammer and the lock box open in the courtyard and a window in the building block open. The apartment door is open and Claire is gone. He follows muddy footsteps up the stairwell and we see him follow them past Claire hiding in a stairwell cupboard. Just as he reaches the room where Franca is hiding, Claire calls from downstairs, luring him back into the apartment. Once he is distracted inside, Claire manages to slip out and lock the apartment door with Andy now trapped inside. A wave of euphoric relief washes over Claire as she realizes she is finally free from the apartment and Andy. Andy now pleading for Claire to free him from the apartment, she screams in victory, chucking the keys against the outside of the door, taunting Andy. She collects Frank's and has found a bag with her passport and her mother's ring. The final shots are of Andy relaxing in his massage chair and Claire riding in a car through Berlin, passing tourist sightseeing, enjoying her freedom. Thanks for watching. See you in another movie recap. Please like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video update. Have a nice day.